Hi and welcome back to my channel and um, I've got my top three of the, uh, oh what are they called, lip pencils, <laughs> lip liners, lip pencils and um, this was a really hard, do you know what I should have done? I should have done um, lip pencils, sort of lip crayons as well, which I might do because I do have quite a few of those. I don't know. Anyway, going off on a tangent. This is the lip liner one and I narrowed it down to three, but I've got two that were in the running for definite. And um, my top one, it's difficult really. Um, I wanted to show you the ones that were in, in for the running, so I'll talk about them. First one is the Max Factor Colour Elixir Light Lip Liner. This didn't make the top three, but it is one of my favourites. I've got swatches all over my hands. You'll probably notice that I'm doing a lot of things similar um, in similar outfits, etc. Because it's it's easier. Um, anyway, this is the colour, goodness knows, Red Rush. And I wanted a red lip liner. Um, I have to say it comes off quite a true red, really lovely, really pretty on the lips, very, very soft. And I do use this one as my red lip liner, um, but it didn't quite make my top three. And that's because I don't use it very often. I've had this for maybe, I don't know, 18 months. So, you know, still not got quite down with that one. And the other one is because it's so new. And it could quite possibly my, be in my top three for 2016, but it is the lip liner Saw by MAC, which is this gorgeous mauve pink, which would go with any of the dark nudes that I wear. Um, it's beautiful. I bought it, I don't know why, I think I bought it because everybody else was, and I really wanted to try it. And I have to say, it's a lovely brownie pink. It, perfect for the sort of nude colours I wear. I use it sometimes all over the lips with a gloss over the top and I've really been enjoying it. However, it didn't make my top three because there have been ones that I've been using more. So what were they and where do they position? Um, my number three is an Essence one and it is the Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. Now I've got a feeling that this is going to be a dupe. Oh my god it is. Practically the same colour as Saw. This is Soft Berry. The Essence lip liners are so creamy, so soft. This is a pencil one, not a retractable one. Um, I saw somewhere that somebody wasn't that impressed with them, but I find them to be the creamiest ones out of all of my sort of budget ones, um, sort of the budget budget brands. Um, and I really, really love it. That is a, a lovely stony mauve colour. It's a bit cooler than Saw. Excuse my nails. It's a bit, how can I show you them? It's a bit cooler than Saw, um, but it is, it's very, very close. And I use that again all over the lips. And this cost me a pound, whereas Saw cost me a lot more. So I think if I'm going to repurchase one, it would probably be this one in the future, knowing that they're very similar. They are so similar. Um, number two is, oh, is one that I was um, using quite a lot, I was trying to use up, but actually I just fell in love with it and it's the Ace of Diamond Lip Pencil um, in 34 and I can't remember but it's something like Fuchsia, Fun Fuchsia or something and basically um, I love these because they're very, very thin tips, there's only about an inch left but it's so long lasting and you only ever have to apply it once, very creamy once again, an absolutely amazing cool toned pink Fuchsia I guess and um, really long lasting. I really, really, really love this. It was a very close call between this and the next one, to be honest. But surprisingly, I didn't like this, the next one, first of all, when I bought it. Um, and how it got, if you'd have asked me when I first used it, how it would, if it would be my favourite of 2015, I would have said no. However, I used a whole one up. I've almost used the second one and I'll be, and I've repurchased it again so I've got a backup and it is and I hate to be a follower but um it's East End Snob by Rimmel and it's the most gorgeous cool toned pinky nude um it's this the the reason I didn't like it when I first got it was every time I used it, it kept breaking on me and I was just like, well, how, how are people saying it's so creamy? It just crumbles. But I think it just needed a little bit of wear in that first few times. This one didn't actually. So it might have just been that one. And it just is stunning. It works with all of my nude lipsticks. It works with a lot of my glosses. 
I wear it so often. Um, if I've got a, a brownie nude lipstick that I want to um, bring a bit of warmth to, I use this underneath. I've got a couple of um, taupey nude shades from Maybelline and the lipsticks that I've got they're not like full-on bold color so with this underneath it just brings it to life this is an exaggerate lip liner and what this does for my lips is it just makes it look, them look so full it really does and uh, I don't know if it's just I, I wasn't jumping on the bandwagon I hadn't actually realized that this was something that everybody liked I picked this up for my own accord before I really got into YouTube as much as I have now so you know um I didn't just jump on the bandwagon, but I feel like me saying this is in my top, this is my favorite of 2015. I feel like that people might be thinking I'm jumping on the bandwagon, but I'm not. I just really do love this. And if you haven't got this in, in your collection, I do implore you to go and, and give it a go, especially because they're not that expensive. Um, I, I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my top three lip liners, which ones you would have in your top three. If you've got any that I, you know I have, and I haven't mentioned, um, then let me know. As usual, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below with anything, because I love to respond. And give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Have a really good day and take care. Bye.